Hello, everybody. Welcome to the, are we semi-final? Quarterfinal of the lower bracket of the Bloodborne tourney. Uh, we've got Eden Issue and Curious Peanut. Should be an awesome race today. And with me, I've got Mama Souls. Commentary. Hey, everybody. Uh, so it should be awesome. And if these guys are ready, uh, I guess we'll we'll waste no time. We'll count them in. Get things rolling. It looks like they're both ready. So uh, I don't know if you want to do the honors, Mama. Sure. Starting from five. Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. We are off. So like I had, he said, we're in like the quarterfinal-ish area. We've got about four or five races left. Uh, we're just working our way through the brackets. This one here is between Eden and Peanut, um, both running on PS5s. So should have approximately around the same uh, RTA, depending on quit outs. And while we're in the beginning of the game, worth pointing out, is that my co-commentator, Ahadi, took the world record for this category last night. Congratulations, Ahadi. Thank you very much. And the night before that, he got the glitchless one. <laughs> so congratulations for that. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't even know it was possible to get up this ladder without dying to the wolf. Pretty crazy. Pretty One cool, dude. That it's poggers. If they were so inclined. So both runners will be making their way into the dream. I'm assuming neither one will get the cane. Um, but I guess that's outdated by now. But there was a skip where we would get the cane. I think that we have found a consistent setup in which you can use the cleaver. Um, they'll pick up their gun and head back to the mean streets of Yarnum. A little bit less forgiving as well to fail the, the cleaver version because you can't, there's not really a whole lot of extra space if he decides to do a magic attack. Um, whereas with the cane, you have quite a bit of extra range if he decides to back up or do a magic attack. wonder if either of them are going to go for a plunge on sewer skip. That would be cool. The real alpha runners go for the plunge. Hmm. We shall see. Both runners coming up to sewer skip like I had mentioned. Um, it's the first skip of the game. Um, this is one of the few skips in the run that is ac Ooh, Eden. That is actually... Like, uh... Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, it looked like Peanut went for the plunge, uh, but he did not get it. And you see Peanut quitting out. Eden accidentally broke his boxes, and that will force him to run through the sewer. Um, so what Peanut is doing is the sewer skip. Um, where, well, how long, how much does it save? About 30 40 seconds? 40 seconds. 40 seconds? Yeah. Um... So Peanut's going to be headed to Gascoigne. Eden still has to get through the sewers and up the ladder. Um, unfortunately, like I said, his uh, boxes did break. Fortunately, there's a lot of run left. Very nice opening backstab there by Peanut. It's very difficult to backstab Gascoigne because he rotates a lot. And he rotates quickly. Uh, there's some other, like, humanoid bosses that you can backstab as well. But they don't rotate quite as much. He's just really difficult to, to backstab. 
Oh, il chante pour moi. Il peut rendre malade un homme. My favorite is listening to Gascoigne in French because he calls you a boomer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sick fight. That was actually a really good fight. Not too bad on the other side as well by Eden. Oh, oh, nice roll. <laughs> Please. No. I want him to heal, but he's not going to. I just know he won't. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I'm so glad that that killed him. <laughs> <laughs> That jump attack would have just knocked him into another dimension. We could not be having these heart attacks this early in the run. We less than five minutes in. Shoot. I feel like Eden absorbed Donnie's power of yeah. making a heart attack during the run. <laughs> So you saw Peanut pick up the Hunter set. This is considered early. We usually don't get it until right before the DLC. Eden's going to pick it up too. But it does give you a little bit of uh, leeway as far as some defense. And it helps with your beast meter. And you get to see their lovely choice of hair color. Nice, the dogs are playing nicely today. Uh, he had to quit out menu open just in case. Definitely a spot where the dogs can oh, no. uh, do that to you. <laughs> so you had one set of dogs that was nice, yeah. and the other ones uh, blocked him out of the door. Very just like, rough start, but... Uh, just like Soulsborne dogs will do. Eden can definitely... Uh, recover he's uh, a very seasoned bloodborne veteran when it comes to no hit runs as well as speed runs so well, this run is approximately an hour and 25 an hour and 30 minutes rta it's gonna be about 110 to 115 in game time and we're in the first 10 minutes so like there's a lot left here for eden to catch back up or just anything can happen. And like Hattie said, he is very seasoned, both in speedruns and no hits, so there there shouldn't be a problem here. Is that the first dog death this tournament? Um I wanna say mm, no. I don't I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, Eden is very well seasoned, very tasty boy. Wow. <laughs> Eden better start running faster with y'all talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> Run faster! The dogs think he's tasty too, apparently. Yeah. We'll see if Eden grabs the uh, pungent blood cocktails. I'd imagine he would, but it would be cool if he didn't, because then you'd get to see two different strats. This strat discovered by a very angry Canadian. I can't imagine who that would be. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Definitely Bathhouse. Bathy. <laughs> the angriest Canadian I know is Bathhouse. You sure about that? Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Eden. Poor thing. Did he? I don't think he got the lamp either. Probably not. We'll find out. But. Just not having anything go his way right now. It's unfortunate, but... It really is. It, like... 
it, things can just start stacking up on you and it yeah it, it can get really really hard mentally to keep going so Especially i'm really glad to see that he's continuing very demotivating to lose a lot of time at the start uh, it is like one thing to die to something like ludwig and then you have to run back when the run's already almost done but Dying really early on is, is very demotivating in a race. It is. He can do it, though. He can do it. Give him your energies. We believe. Peanut, on the other hand, very clean so far. Um, I want to say zero mistakes. Um, and he is making his way to the Cathedral Ward so he can take out Vicar Amelia. Uh, technically an optional boss. In my first playthrough, I definitely did Amelia skip. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Ladder warp not being kind, but probably because he's doing the inferior transform setup instead of the obviously better toggle setup. Cooked. So e Eden heading into BSV while Peanut is heading into Amelia. We'll have two boss fights at the same time. And Eden is fighting BSB without pungent. Let's go. Pretty awesome. We'll see how it goes. It's a fairly consistent fight. Uh, it used to be a lot worse for sure. But yeah, he's he's basically got it in the bag now. Like after the that uh little combo he did there with the R1 L1 L1 fight's basically over. So good job, Eden. Nicely done. Ooh, I can't believe he actually hit the boss there on the second backstab, but perfect fight for sure. Doesn't get better than that. Peanut making quick work of Amelia. Yeah, PS5 is for people who like dropped inputs and garbage interfaces. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> Game filing. The most impressive part of this run is that they both have PS5s. Yeah, it's very, very impressive that they both managed to obtain a console. I think we know Peanut will definitely fight um, Shadows uh, without doing the freeze. I'm all but certain that Eden will do the the freeze at this point, so we'll see how that goes. Get to see two different strats again with the Bloodstarved Beast with the cocktails versus Bloodstarved Beast um, with backstabs. I guess you do backstabs for both strats, but... Awesome ladder warp. Love that, the toggle warp. It just looks so much cleaner. And it saves I exactly still, zero seconds. I still do the extend. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a loser. 
I don't know why it's it feels easier for me to do the toggle. It doesn't really make sense because, you know, your index finger is kind of free to press any button, right? And I choose to use the thumb to... I don't know, but I just like the way it looks, and it just feels nicer to execute. It is clean looking, I'll give you that. <laughs> so Peanut is in the middle of his first stream segment, where he will... Uh, sell the doll set for 35,000 echoes, level up his weapon to plus four, slot some gems, um, level up his character to 25 strength, 19 skill, and then head back to Cathedral Ward where he will take a scripted death to an enemy right outside that will take him to do early part. Eden finishing up Amelia. Nicely done. No bad Amelia RNG today. Gonna make blood bullets here strategically. Best possible attack there. The little shove kills you very quick. Takes you to your hard will. Very, very clean run so far. Yeah, it's no longer early Parl. Now it's just Parl. Because we used to fight Parl um, after uh, Murgo's Wet Nurse, which would mean you have to do a skip called Yahargul Skip twice, and it's really frustrating. It's a very frustrating skip. And doing it twice in one run was not very enjoyable for most people. Um, it does kind of live on in the the newer category uh, with Wolf Clip because Parl is just much more efficient to do later. But with early Parl, it just makes the fight so much better. Or rather, the, the run so much better. Eden like, caught up uh, quite a bit, I think. I like Eden's hair color. Yeah, the the mint. I like it. Almost sold the hunter set. I've done that more times than I'd care to admit. <laughs> when <I'm> being erased. <laughs> um, but yeah, Peanut's making his way to uh, the Forbidden Woods skip. Very inventive name. It's, I'd say it's probably the easiest. It's not just easy. It's like it, I could see someone doing it accidentally just in there. Yeah, in there's the just nothing to through. it. Yeah, there's really there's really no trick to it. It's just if someone Ugh. was walking through that area and accidentally rolled against the wall, they might just do it. It's very easy. Very easy. I think the hardest part is like once you get on top knowing where to go. Yeah. It, like getting up there is not hard at all. Aiden getting a good uh attack too. Yeah. Got the kick, but still good. Yeah, if Wood Skip actually skipped the woods, it would be a little bit faster. It should be called a small skip in the Forbidden Woods to skip a portion of the woods. A little wordy. Not quite as catchy.
Oh, yeah. I love when those guys jump. Gives you a little heart attack. Yeah, Peanuts fighting shadows. Expect nothing less from the the man, the myth, the legend. The Truly the last of his the, kind. The Lone Ranger. Yeah. <laughs> Curious Peanut fighting shadows. I was uh I was a shadows fighter once. Then I fell off the wagon. Uh, don't get hit by a fireball, bro. Thank you. Thank you for healing. Oh, he's, he's got a nice little setup here going now. I'm scared. I know my man Peanut is not going to let him let him do it to him. Perfect fight. No issues at all. Definitely did not get hit. Perfect. So, uh, Eden is a little bit behind because he did not do sewer skip. Uh, the boxes broke. And then he died to the dogs and he died to old yarn of skip. So, all things considered, he is not really that far behind no one told him that he wasn't playing Sekiro and that you can only die once in Bloodborne <laughs> oh, what a nerd pretty toxic <clears throat> perfect uh, Linarium T skip by Fina I'm really glad that your runs are better than your jokes ahead. <laughs> <laughs> My jokes are great. I don't know what you're talking about. That was a bold uh, little cut between the spiders there. Peanut. Can't say I would have done the same. <laughs> really nice. It's very nice when you get a ROM fight where she just has the sliver left. Mm -hmm. Because then you don't have to deal with any uh, of the little spiders at the end. And even ROM with one hit, to... she gets the third phase is like the happy place, in my yeah. opinion. <laughs> Wide people happy. Good job, Peanut. You'll see Eden is doing the skip that will freeze the shadows AI, so we're going to get to see the best of both worlds here. Perfect jump. Whoa, that was kind of trippy. Very nice. Nicely executed. Peanut will be on his way to pick up what is called the Upper Cathedral Key. It will allow him access to an optional area uh, later in the game. Uh, the two bosses are locked behind this door, uh, and then in all bosses run, you gotta go kill them. So, like I said, right now we're picking up the key. No one would even notice if they were skipped. Just skip them, it's faster. Okay, Mr. Never Seen Logarius. <laughs> Logarius is hard to find. The area is all snowy and get lost pretty quick. I'm having that is... already flashbacks of Yargul skip before it even happens. I think the worst part of Yargul skip was uh, turning your splits off. Yeah. 
the run well the run before that like i managed to land like perfectly between the pillar and the carriage and just splat and i'm like I've never done that before oh yeah i was still awake when you did that and i was like oh, what the hell just happened <laughs> pretty nice one pixel farther left or right and you survive Eden is making his way up to Rom. About to fight the true boss before he even hits the big spider. I'd also like to point out that Rom is not even really a spider. She has substantially more than eight legs. She's more of a millipede, or like a centipede. But Rom, the vacuous centipede, doesn't sound nearly as menacing. <laughs> Or a crab, kind of like a like a hermit crab. Rom the vacuous hermit crab doesn't also doesn't <laughs> sound that <laughs> that menacing. It just, just does not. It just doesn't sound the same. Yeah. A turtle with a very tiny shell. So, Peanut made it through your Oh my god in heaven. That was a lot to be happening at once. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he should get the... Oh, uh, yeah, run. There you go. Oh my he god. Knows. He knows. He's a smart boy. Peanut's been through a lot in this game. He knows when to give up on the stagger. Okay, we're fine. Excellent recovery. That's kind of what sets apart, um, like, really experienced runners with less experienced runners, is their ability to adapt, uh, even if, I don't know, you have two runners with similar <laughs> PBs, uh, a more experienced runner will always uh, be able to adapt better to more situations, just more hours into the game. Mm-hmm. Plus, he runs BO4. Yeah, that's that's a thing. We get it. Peanut. And like we we meme about that, but it's true. Like the more experience you have in the game overall, not just with speedruns, if you've run BL4, like Eden's done no hit, you know, if something goes wrong and like the fastest version of what you're trying to do, you always have some sort of backup strat to go to. Exactly. So that you can still overcome what's going on. And Peanut, I would say, is probably the master of backup strats. He's uh, done a lot of just BL4 practice, and that alone lets you mm -hmm. very easily adapt to uh, <clears throat> some memes. Eden running through your Hargle, just perform the your Hargle skip. Skips about. Oh my god. Okay, we're fine. I've never been hit by that dude and not died, so... I mean, yeah. Interesting. I'm surprised. Interesting, uh, set of circumstances there. You know, we're not going to look that gift horse in the mouth. Yeah. So Peanut's kind of passed the unholy trinity of um, <gasps> garbage. What just happened, man? It got shot. Oh, no. The wolf... Rough. The wolf hit him when he came in and healed. He got hit by the wolf, and when he came around that corner, the dude shot him, like, right in the face. That's really rough. The... Uh... The part that's going to be unfortunate here is 
where his echoes are going to be. This is probably the the least important stack of echoes to lose. It's made, it, at the end of the day, once you get to your final level up, you're losing about two levels. Um, but right now, it'll it'll be a little a little bit slow for for uh, Mikalash and Wet Nurse for sure. If he isn't able to get them back. The worst one to lose is right before Amygdala when you're doing the Nightmare Frontier skip. You lose a lot of levels there. I would know you're... what that's like. I've never messed up that yeah. skip. Natty would never know either. It's never happened to him. Oh yeah, he's gonna kill this guy. Nope, nope, nope. Or not. Uh, just leave. You know. He's just he's like, nope. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> he knows that it's not that many levels, so he's gonna elect to Leave them alone. He went straight from Nodders to Nopers after he yeah. missed the backstab. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut grabbed the shortcut. Very smart. Um, it's It only wastes like three, four seconds, so I don't understand why more people don't go for it. Even I don't go for it. I just, I don't know. I mean, if you're in a race, you might, you might want to. I think it's a good that. idea in a race. For sure. You know, in a run, if you die to Mikolash, you're probably going to reset, you know, if exactly. you're at a higher level. In a race where you can't reset... Oh, God, Eden. Just go to the back leg, man. Give up. Mm. Oh, thank you. All right, Jesus cool. Jesus Christ. One Reborn is a very bad fight to, um, oh, to die on because it makes the return journey very bad and it also makes the fight bad because one reborn is already moving once you get inside <laughs> peanut getting bodied by the crossbow guy i get hit by that more often than i'm willing to admit. yeah I feel like at this point I kind of have like a rhythm to it that I just know when he's gonna shoot. But yeah, that that's like dodging gunshots and bloodborne and arrows, I guess. That's like a crossbow bolt. Um in Bloodborne when you're really close to them is way harder than when you're farther away. Because it just kinda like instantly hits you. No, he's gonna do call beyond. Uh, he's gonna. He should get. No. Don't do it. He's gonna get the echoes. I think. Yeah, nope. At least he got the shortcut. That's got the shortcut. Good. I think more than anything, that was probably him muscle memory going into reset, like resetting. Yeah. Because he didn't go any further than that. He remembered. No Amigo forfeiting Lush. allowed. Now, Mako Lush has been, like, a problem in this tournament, dude. Yeah. Mako Lush has been rough. Rough. Rough, rough. <laughs> but yes, he has been. So... The first run we saw it in was Peanut and Donnie, and they both tied to Mikolash right at the end. Yeah, that was I, a, that was an interesting race. And I, uh, we've seen definitely a lot more. Yeah, I, I don't know. Mikolash has been the king of the tournament so far. In past years, it's been One Reborn, and yep. in 2021, it's been the year of Mikolash. Mm-hmm. I like the confidence. Peanut's not sending the elevator back down. Not gonna let this man kill him anymore. Nope. The only issue that arises with this is since he had the shortcut already, he doesn't get the extra pellet from the area 
So now he's gonna be short a pellet and probably do the woods early? I would do one pellet Mikolash, is what I would do, but I'm not sure how experienced... He's done any percent, so yeah, I think he knows how to do one pellet Miko. And I think that's what he's gonna do, actually, yeah. So, Peanut going for some insane strats, one pellet Mikolash, he's not gonna eat the pellet yet. But he'll still go to the woods after Nurse? Um, yeah, he'll go to the Because he won't after. have any pellets after that. He won't have one for Amygdala, but... Correct. Doing woods after Wet Nurse is the optimal time to... If you happen to, is the yeah. optimal. Because doing it now it would waste a ton of time if you had to go back after Mikolash. So yeah, he's doing... Didn't eat the pellet during the phase one uh, combos. That's normally what you would do, but I guess he's playing it safe. So yeah, you lose a bit of time doing one pellet Mikolash, but not as much as two additional warps to go back to the woods. Which is a lot of time. A warp is about seven seconds. So he'd be losing almost 15 seconds if he was to go, if he didn't do that, what he just did there with the one pellet fight. Oh man, Mikolash is not being kind. All right, he's got him in the corner. Mikolash down. Right, we're good. Still was, a very commanding lead for sure. I was I was worried about the puppets coming up behind him mm -hmm. at that point, but we're good. Nothing to worry about here. So because he did that strat. Which is, again, like when it comes to more experience. Um, a less experienced runner might not have done that strat and would have lost close to 15 seconds because of it if they had to continue the run. Uh, but because Peanut has that in his repertoire. Canadian Crow Dog has crossed into America, ladies and gentlemen. He made the trip down south. <laughs> He's on vacation. He's on vacation. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm so glad that that happened. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, at least he didn't die. At least he just got a taste of the maple syrup. <laughs> Good RNG there. On the Winter Lanterns. Can Miko call Beyond in that room or only in the final room? He can call Beyond at any point in the second phase. It does not matter what room he's in. Yeah, even if you do the... <clears throat> the... Is it a glitch to get him up here? I don't even remember. But there's, you can fight Mikolash up top. Um, and you can like push him over the, the edge. Like when you're doing No Hunter's Dream Run or whatever, you can you can push Mikolash over the edge, um, and he can do it there too. He doesn't have to be in the final room. Nicely done, Eden. Grabbing the blue elixirs for Peanut, pretty uh, slow if you ask me. So can't say he can recover from that one. Yeah, he lost 40,000 Echoes, Eden did. So technically, if he stopped and picked up the Cold Bloods here before Nurse, that would put him back to even, because they're both worth 20k, aren't they? Um, are they? I think it's 20k total, maybe. Um, but it's, I don't think it would be worth it, personally. I think it's because at the end of the day, again, it's only two levels. And the only bosses that get affected by those two levels are Cleric Beast and Lawrence. And they're very minor issues. Lawrence, ew. Basically, for Lawrence, you have to finish him off with an L1 instead of an R1. So that's almost no time loss. And for Cleric Beast, you have to do a slightly different combo if you don't have 44 strength. So Peanut is fighting Nurse right now. She's currently teleporting. Um... 
jump attack. Best thing that could have happened there, probably, because she's about to grant this form. Nope. She chose not to, and there you go. That's Wet Nurse. Probably one of the easier fights in the run, but also can be annoying because... Yeah, it's a crap fight, no matter how you slice that cake. Massive time loss. I think Wet Nurse is probably the one boss that can just deliver the most significant time loss in just one move. Like, if you get a teleport or a couple of teleports, or some baseball swings, it's just, you can lose a massive amount of time on Wet Nurse. He is grabbing the Cold Bloods. The 11s, they might be 20k, I don't remember. We'll see when he pops them. Yeah, if you get the American Wet Nurse with baseball swings all over the shop. It's not a hard boss, like a Hattie said, but she does have a lot of things she can do to be annoying as hell. Decent opener there by Eden. Uh-oh. I mean, in this tournament, we watched her do some kind of crazy oh, yeah. animation <laughs> cancel on BLT that, like, that no one had ever seen before. Caught me off guard. That was hilarious, but also devastating. <laughs> <laughs> she oh, can man. teleport. She has a nightmare face. She can get in the wall and will not get out. She's just a crappy boss. It is 20k total. It is. Because the 12 that you get from killing Rom is 12k. So the other ones must be... Uh... He could have tried to dupe those. I don't know if he knows how to do the consumable dupe. Um, that would have given him more echoes, but not a massive deal, honestly. Again, he's... The fact that he picked those up means he might not even lose a level. He might lose one level, which is something that you normally lose anyway in a lot of runs where you'll get 43 strength instead of 44. The uh, big the, RTA like that. difference that we're going to have other than the deaths they've taken is that Eden broke his boxes and didn't do sewer skip. Had to run through the sewers. Oh, first try. Awesome. Awesome. First skip. try the lecture hall skip. Good job, Eden. That's and another now... skip. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You can explain the skip. I was just going to say, that's another skip that... Um, it's it, Messing it up just a couple of times can lose you all of the time it saves. So it's kind of one of those skips where... You have to be really confident and practice it a lot because it only saves a small amount of time. This is where things are going to kind of get funny between these two because since Peanut died to Mikolaj, he's doing the woods early. Whereas Eden hasn't died where he lost any materials. So he's continuing on the regular route. So now they're going to be kind of weirdly switched they should uh meet back up in route wise not time wise at the brightest uh, when yeah they the DLC. or cleric beast rather they'll meet up at cleric beast So Peanut still probably has a quite a commanding lead, but Eden is, I want to say, catching up. It's hard to tell, but... 
especially now with them doing different parts of the route. Yeah. Like Hattie said, once they meet back up in Upper Cathedral Ward, we'll kind of have a little bit of a better idea, but you still can't say for sure because Bloodborne is measured by in-game time, which you do not know until the end. So it's really anybody's race until the fat lady sings. Yeah, now Peanut's doing the segment that we just saw Eden do. But Eden's going to have to go do the segment that uh, Peanut just did. So, trading off a little bit. And you saw he got 43 strength, so like I said, that happens normally in, in an actual attempt if you don't have a mistake or a death. So, oh man, lecture hall skip. Ah, you know, there we go, first like, try. The rhythm. Yeah, first try. No big deal. Just couldn't get the rhythm together. Sometimes you get in your own head a little bit. With <clears throat> like, you just kind of got to do it. It's one of those skips that there's not really a setup. It's just your brain is the setup, the muscle memory you obtained by practicing it. Especially if you're on a really good run and you just, you know, you need a, a good lecture hall skip, and you're you're kind of overthinking it, or you just kind of need to do it. Just do it. Just do it. Ooh. All right, Eden. I see you. I hope he has enough HP. I think he's gonna die on the ladder. Don't say that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's going to die on a ladder. I'm scared to watch now. No, he's going to live. Please heal. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me, Eden? <laughs> so peanut's doing actually the old amygdala strat it's honestly not that even that much slower and it's way easier to do because you don't have to find the r2 at all you can just straight up go in there and charge it so very well executed And now Peanut is going to Ebritus. So this is where they're going to meet up. So now you can kind of see the difference because Eden is now going to head to this segment after. That is the last of the three umbilical cords. I oh, know there's one more you have to pop, right? I can't remember. Oh, no, normally, yeah, never mind. That's the last one. That's so, the last one, yeah. Yeah. He's going to be fighting, obviously, the secret boss because this is all bosses. Super secret. Amazing final boss. I quite like Moon Presence. Casually, like I don't know. I just I like the design. I died to Moon Presence six times last night trying to finish a run, so I kinda don't like her right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate Moon Presence. Yes. Screw that boss. We we hate Moon Presence right now. Yeah. We hate her. Oh. Gross. Such a bad boss. Yeah. You know, again, grabbing more elixirs. How many elixirs does he need to complete a speedrun? 
Who was it that was it Blanks or Forest? I think it was in the qualifier match. Had like more elixirs than had like ten elixirs, <laughs> and I'm like, what are you doing? Good lord. <laughs> If the boss can't see you, he can't hit you. Uh, using the bolt paper there scared me. I was getting flashbacks of when Ivan got hit through the wall. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was that was interesting. Just uh, Ivan was going a little bit too close to the wall there, and then like the dude with the sight faith just like smacked him through the wall. <laughs> yep. What a way to lose run. Yeah. I mean, if we're doing it for Orphanage Keyskip, then the enemies should also be allowed to do it. Got it. Mm. Oh, Eden got sandwiched there a little bit. Mm-hmm. Unfortunate. There is, like, a little strat. I don't know. I wasn't really watching Eden's screen at that point, but there is a little strat. Um, kind of an AI manipulation strat that in silico came up with uh, that I still do to this day and I think it works so Irish strats Irish luck you'll see some people get their quit out menu ready when they're uh, coming up on these guys. That way if you do get hit, you just quit out. That one looked like it was still standing when he was running away. I wonder if it kind of did a living failures on us where it's still alive mm -hmm. right now. It's still running around in the arena. Yeah. And then we're just going to see it come up and hit him while he's fighting a brightest. Oh god, please don't say that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, during my run yesterday, I had the dude drop onto the elevator with me, and I had to kill him. That was fun. Oh, lord. Yeah. Well, that's better than getting newbied, at least. Yeah. Well, newbie just kind of let it happen. <laughs> he just, like, didn't realize, I think he didn't realize it was alive, and it just, like, started hitting him. <laughs> I've seen that clip enough times. I do. When I'm on that elevator, I'm always watching to see if they're gonna fall down yeah. there with me. That was All an right. interesting brightest right. fight. GG Peanut. Eden making it past the bouncers. All right. Let's see. Oh my see god. Eden doesn't get memed here. Ooh, that roll was a little early, man. Ugh. I don't know about that. I think we need to check for infinite iframes, guys. Come on. There we go. Iframes mod check? Don't know about that, bud. Oh, he might miss this cycle. No, he, no! Why? Oh, God. Oh, okay. shit. Whoa, where did that wolf come from? Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Surprise. Surprise! The wolf. The bad kind of surprise. YOLO emissary. Oh, Jesus. It's gonna be a yikes from me. <laughs> very, very well executed. I don't know if he knows the backup strat. There is a backup strat. Uh, if the dude doesn't backstep. But everything went well there. Christ. Is 
is fine. Stop trolling romantic horror, guys. <laughs> Poor Roman. He should have known better than to tell y'all he was on mobile. Because this is, this is what <laughs> happens. <laughs> Eden with a pretty textbook, Ebriatus. And he will be opening up his DLC lamp and heading to Cleric Beast. Uh, Peanut will be getting his materials, his blood rock, a couple of pellets, leveling his weapon to plus 10, and he will be going into the DLC. Yeah, yeah. He almost didn't level his weapon up there. They both have not killed Cleric Beast yet. So they'll, they will both be heading to Cleric Beast now. Well, or no, Peanut already killed Cleric Peanut Beast. Peanut killed right? Cleric Beast, yeah. Eden is heading to Cleric Beast now. <clears throat> can tell because he doesn't have enough insight. I mean, there's still... There's still a good amount of run left, so... Yeah. I mean... I'd imagine Peanut is not going to do the brand new research hall skip. I'm still not terribly sold on it, to be honest, but... It might be because you lost time on it last night. <laughs> yeah. It just, it's a very, like, tricky skip to pull off. And it saves such a small amount of time that just a tiny mistake will uh, make you break even. Capri, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. So we did kind of miss Peanut doing Cleric Beast, but Eden's coming up on it right now. Uh, this is normally like your tutorial boss. Um, <laughs> we do it this late in the run and you are about to find out why. Hi Cleric Beast. Bye Cleric Beast. Hardest fight in the run. By a mile. <clears throat> So Peanut's going to use one of his 72 elixirs to make his way to Ludwig. Not sure what he's going to use the other 71 for. Though, not far behind. He's made up quite a bit of time. He really has. Last death. All things considered. Yeah. He's not that far behind. You're about to see a really cool strat on Ludwig where. If you kill him with a fire uh, damage, he does a different death animation and happens to be quite a bit faster. All in all, because he dies so much faster... Ooh. Oh, come on, Peanut. There you go. Because Ludwig dies so much faster, you actually end up uh, losing... Not losing time, but 
you don't save as much as you'd think. Oh my god. You end up, uh... You end up not getting to the fog wall fast enough to gain your stamina back. Whoa, that was weird. I'm just kind of like cancel that animation, but yeah. You'll see that he gets to the fog wall kind of right as it disappears. Whereas if you didn't use fire paper, you'd have time to wait there and you'd have more stamina running through this little area. So you end up actually saving a bit of time for stamina. We get it. BL4 Ludwig, man. he's doing early skull can't say i would recommend that because that's peach it's a race yeah but i don't know can't say he can recover from that 28 minute time loss 28 minutes <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Giving Eden a chance by doing early skull. It's very nice of Peanut. He can gain some of those 46 minutes back, though, if he, <clears throat> he uh, does orphan cheese. And the new research I'll skip. Yeah. Is that the real Elden Ring? Early access? Hello, Elden Ring. I loved your trailer. We'll see if Eden... Yeah. Uh, he might have got a counter hit. No, I don't think he got a counter hit there. But if nice. you do get a counter hit there, that's rough. But well executed. Ooh, he didn't do enough damage because he didn't get a counter hit on the charge dart, too. Interesting. But, uh... But it's cleaning still it up done. very nicely. I'm sure he knew he didn't do enough damage because he kind of didn't commit. He was prepared. So, definitely. Another one of those instances where uh, a more experienced runner would just be able to adapt. Yep. And not panic. Lunge attack the rat. There you the go. Only kill, way to do this. kill that stupid rat. Yeah. Not doing research hall skip. It's unfortunate adding to his 86 minute time loss from doing early skull uh, grand total of about 110 minutes now so how will he ever recover i'm not sure finally a comfy warm, cozy failures fight that doesn't involve meteors. <laughs> I've been doing that skip too much lately and just being a normal failures fight is making me really happy. Where he doesn't spawn super quickly, lets you get your stamina back actually. Nice fight, Peanut. Awesome failures fight. <clears throat> I bet Eden does the skip. Because he knows he's behind right now. We'll see, though.
going for the insane zero second time save with the animation cancel there since you have to um whoa the rat at least it died when it fell yeah sometimes it doesn't die i uh, know if you're canadian i had a or... rat that lived with me through like this entire thing once and i was like how <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> <laughs> not not as like... good as when the uh, the wolf and old Yarnum did the skip with newbie and like oh, killed him. Oh god, on the, yes. On the and some funny things can happen in this game, that is yeah. for sure. He done going for a backstab? I'm not sure what he did, why he did that. No, he's just going for the normal fight. Yeah, don't commit on that, you know. You're, yeah. Nice. Good job. Very good fight. Maria is like a 55 second fight. <gasps> that can feel like an hour. What happened he, to Eden there? He just Eden, got... He's got a very active caster on the other side. <laughs> Lots of magic. Not the good kind of magic. They're going for both a strength and a skill build. Right now, both of them have... Well, Enet will have 44 strength and 25 skill, and Eden will have 43 strength and 25 skill. So just one level difference between them. So, Peanut using his last of his 118 elixirs uh, <laughs> in the fishing Hamlet. So, he will probably buy 10 more for Hemwick. <laughs> Poor Peanut. Yeah. He needs, he likes his gator. Well, he, he likes his monster energy. His neon blue energy drink. Nicely done, Eden. Maria down. Oh, um, like uh, Cecilia mentioned, uh, Eden actually didn't do the early skull, so if he dies in the DLC, it's going to be really uh, fun, like a massive time loss, because what Peanut did was, since he grabbed that skull early and wasted a tiny bit of time with the, the warp, the extra warp, uh, he's able to grab this lamp. So now if he dies to Orphan, it's a very small time loss. Also, Peanut, since he's already done it, is much more uh, ahead than it actually seems. The Orphan Specialist going to work here. I don't know if he's actually the Orphan Specialist, don't quote me on that. Getting some really unfortunate attacks. Those are some really slow attacks, but he knows how to deal with them, obviously. Probably, like, two of the more rare attacks that you almost never see, and also the really mm -hmm. slow ones. Slow. Not as easy to punish. Yeah. Not going for the KC cliff. Bold choice, Cotton. Whoa, what just happened? Oh um, I hope he could... Yeah, I just quit out, man. Ooh. Now he's going to have full meter already for Orphan, so the fight's going to go a tiny bit faster, for sure. Oh, he mm. just got... That's, that's rough, I think. Mm. Yeah, he's going to have to mark out now. Uh, that's really that's... unfortunate because he did not grab the 
the skull, like we said. So uh... he's gonna have a big chunky time loss it's running back from the from the research hall. Mm. That's really unfortunate. Gosh darn it. That sucks. So he's more than likely gonna grab the skull now, I would imagine. Woof. Indeed. Like orphan, you get three <laughs> fights. <laughs> All the orphan you can handle. Donnie's having flashbacks over there, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Peanut's probably having a good time because orphan's a pretty fun fight. I'm sure he's just <laughs> enjoying himself thoroughly. And Eden is not going to have an elixir here, so... Um, well, I don't think he ran through an elixir anyway, so. But fortunately, that's kind of the norm. You know, in a real oh, peanut! Norm, you oh my... Not used an elixir. Peanut! Stop choking for content. Bless America. Okay, he's getting... The fight is over now. For sure. Please, for the love of God. So even if he decides to transform, it's only a couple of his. No, no. Why would you do that, man? <laughs> man, you do BL4. What are you doing? Oh, sh... I don't get it anymore. I do not get it anymore. That he does BL4. You know, you heck. <laughs> uh. For the, what? What are you doing, Eden? What is happening? These guys just forgot how to do everything. Oh now. no. Oh. <sighs> just a, uh, I don't know, just like a nerves or. What? It it's been a rough go for Eden. Let's yeah. be honest. He's gonna go get his skull. Uh, probably go fight Lawrence and go from there, I guess. And this is definitely not an accurate reflection of these guys' skill levels. Uh, they're both very talented, so mistakes like these are bound to happen in a race. You just nerves, or you just make a little, a little miscalculation. It happens very quickly. You have to remember that, it, like, when you're doing regular runs, if something goes wrong, you reset. In a race, you cannot. You have to figure out how to keep going, and that just wears on you when things start stacking up. So it's definitely yeah. understandable. Perfect, Lawrence. I love. Ooh, how did that miss? But... How did? Yeah, it was perfect. It was perfect until why? But yeah, still very good. He might even still get. Oh yeah, he's yep. still getting the the fast death. So that's nice. Nice. That's like good job. probably the biggest time loss you can get for Lawrence. It's as if you um, is if you don't get the fast death. I think uh, Eden is skipping Orphan, so he's elected to forfeit his run. I think he doesn't doesn't think he can catch up, but uh, great race nonetheless, and he's going to close it out.
in the way he he wants. I he I have really I have really enjoyed seeing, even though technically we've had forfeits here, I'm really proud of a lot of the runners for still finishing. Like, yes, I didn't go back to Warfin because I died or whatever, but they keep going, you know, to finish it out. So, like, uh, that's you... very respectable. Yeah. Are you proud of me for turning off my PlayStation right before Garman? <laughs> that was pretty nice. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself for that. No, I wish I'm... I would have finished that run, but... I'm proud of you for other things. Sometimes you're just not feeling it. You just <clears throat> you just can't uh, can't invest yourself into the run, and you know. Oh, like we already discussed, it's hard. It's difficult when things start going wrong. Yeah, like, like when you when you kind of know, like I know Eden's technically not out of the race. Like Peanut could die to many things if. When you kind of accepted the fact that you've already lost, that so that's when it gets difficult to want to finish. Especially this part, like, who wants to run through Hemwick? <laughs> right. Like, just go kill Garman or something. This is the best area, what are you talking about? Yeah, I love this area. I actually do quite like this area, just the way it looks, but... It is, a. Uh... A long, a long run through, for sure. And I'm still waiting for a skip, for sure. Still, still waiting for him, Wick Skip. Nobody's yeah, giving like it to me yet. Place, it's the one place where there could, there, there's def, there is on paper, in theory, there is a skip to go through that gate, um, and save like a minute or whatever. But no one has found it yet. And it's not for lack of effort. Like, I know Hex and Cookie have both put many, many hours into looking for death cams, ways to just go around it. Like, surely they put a lot of effort to trying to get through that gate. The bounty. The Bloodborne Skip bounty. And I don't even want to say it's impossible, because uh, I'm a huge follower of Zelda speedruns. And uh, in the Wind Waker, the barrier skip, that was like a long time thing where it was, it was considered to be impossible. And then just bam, they found it in both Wind Waker and Wind Waker HD. Nice. It's crazy. Wind Waker, the original actually came later. The HD version, they found it much faster. And it's also faster to execute. So what you're saying is also. there's a chance. Yeah, there is a chance. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, there's a uh, a skip in the Wind Waker. There, or there's an area in the Wind Waker that has like a big spherical, or not spherical, like a cylindrical barrier around Hyrule Castle, and that's like the last area of the game. It's just the only thing stopping you from finishing the game is this big barrier, and they found a way to get through it. The Hemwick Gate is our barrier. Yeah, the Hemwick Gate is the, the Wind Waker barrier of Just Bloodborne. Let us through. Yeah. So Peanut missed the barrel quit out. Um, but when he got towards the top of the stairs, he quit out anyway. That will reset the enemies in the area and get rid of like the dogs and stuff that would have followed him up. Eden getting the barrel quit out. What this is, is like, as soon as the boss is registered dead, um, you quit out off the floor of the arena, and the arena is still considered a boss arena, so it will put you outside and save you, what, about five or six seconds, maybe, on this one? I don't even know if it's that much. I think it's like three or yeah. two. Yeah. It just saves you from having to run across the arena, is what it is. 
And the quit out resets the enemies, so that's also nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Especially when uh, when you run through with Elixir, those enemies are standing pretty much right at the door. Yeah. Versus when you run through without an Elixir, they're kind of like all grouped together so you can run past them. But yeah, they're, uh, they kind of go back to their original spots when, you're, when you run through with an Elixir and then it's rough. For sure. Oh. Almost getting uh, hit by oh. the little, the little dude. Almost getting rapiered. Yeah. That dude's probably one of the scarier enemies. Yeah. He's fast. He's choosing he's fa not to forfeit, because if he grabbed that elevator, unfortunately, it's an automatic forfeit. <laughs> I mean, he I'm not sure if he's watching right now, but he's already won the race. It's just by finishing it. Unless Eden decides, oh man, Peanut's dying a lot, and goes back and kills Orphan. He, uh, he can pretty much do whatever he wants here. Moving on to face the largest biscuit container I've ever seen, personally. I don't think I've ever seen a larger cookie jar. Most giantest one. Yeah. Massive confectionery vessel. And then the winner of that race will go on to face an angry Canadian. And that'll be the that would be the finals of the lower bracket, so this is the quarterfinal. You see, Cookie shows up after we finish talking about him, Wick. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. He heard Hemwick skip, he's like, nope, he left. Came yeah, back. he noped out as soon as he saw Hemwick. Yeah. He brings back memories. Perfect Logarius fight, and now the final two bosses. And Garmin is hard, like really hard to do on his own. In his speedrun both of them together i would consider to be one fight because how well your garmin fight goes determines how well your moon presence fight will go so definitely one to practice a lot if you're gonna start speedrunning bloodborne garmin and moon presence is what i open practice with every day and it's still not enough <laughs> It's definitely the fight I've put the most time into, for sure. Perfect parry there. Man, if not for that Mikolash death, this run was like... 106 material, probably. So, like, this is a really good run. This has been a good run. Oh, uh, Orphan was kind of rough too, but definitely, definitely a really, really good run. And for reference, Peanut's PB is like a 107.54, so he was, he was a. Uh, he was uh, scratching the, the surface of the PB if he didn't die to, to Miko, for sure. He was going for that race PB. Yeah. Awesome run, Peanut. Moving on to face the largest biscuit container. Well, you don't know if it's actually the largest, because his name is just Giant Cookie Jar. There could be a much larger cookie jar. Like but he just happens to be large himself. 
113 59 so that right, was an insanely good run for a death to mikolash because that's a that's a massive time loss let's go eden finish strong Nice. All right, let's see what's going on here with Eden's time. Even though we know Eden already forfeit because he didn't fight Orphan, uh, but still awesome of him. <laughs> if that was a real race, that would have been a nail biter. A real uh, time that would have been. If that was a real race, that would have been. Eden did not finish orphan, so Peanut is the the champion going on to face Mr. Cookie. And we'll get these bad boys in here. Welcome in, Mr. Peanut and Mr. Welcome Eden. Mr. Peanut Hello. And Mr. Eden. <clears throat> Yellow. Very Start, but I don't know if you were watching Peanut, but Eden had a lot of issues. Go well, Eden issue. <laughs> oh, Eden oh what you did there. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I would have won this race if it wasn't for the boxes and double death to Yanem and death in Yagul and death in Abaka feature. <laughs> I would have won this race if I didn't die to uh, this laundry <laughs> list of things. <laughs> Poor Eden. No, that was great. That was, yeah, I play like shit, like, there's no excuses, like, it was just my, I, I'm just I mean, very bad, it that's happens, it. You know? It happens, yeah. like, breaking yeah. the boxes, and then I'm sure that you kind of got stuck on that, and then, like, the dogs, and then things just start stacking up, and you can't help but be like, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. It gets hard to be motivated to continue, right, when you start, especially when it's so early. <sighs> Yeah. But yeah, you did very well. I mean, fuck you! You were catching better. pretty. You were catching me though. You were. Yeah. Yeah. Were, for what it was, were, you, you were, did you were very blazing. good. You were blazing. Blazing speed. And then I and then I literally died to Miko on the at the worst possible time, aka yeah. trading. And I was like, you see, like I don't, my PlayStation button came up because I was like spamming trying to get him to bet, to get through the dialogue. I was like, please. Oh. please Please, like, let it, like, you know, give me the cage, please. And it, it didn't and happen. You gotta, wait, you gotta fucking call Beyonce? No, I, I, he noodled me like we traded. Uh, he was j all jumpy. I couldn't keep him in the box. And yeah, I, d I thought he was going to do call Beyond, and then he didn't. And so I go up to him and then he goes. He noodled right as Peanut got up to him. <laughs> so I was it like, was all right. Uh, and then I was like. Yeah, and then I like did like one pellet, but only did it in second phase because it's like, eh. And then about got Canadian crow dogged that the whole section. Yeah, <laughs> I was really excited about that. I was so happy that that happened to somebody that it wasn't just like crazy. <laughs> I had he goes, I'm so glad to see that happen, and I was like, <laughs> okay, toxic. Jesus. Yeah, well, at least he just got a taste of the the back bacon. You know, he didn't get the whole the whole roast. You know. <laughs> it's okay and then i i don't know i had a lot of trou trouble with orphan i i got pretty much missed a backstab then i got an insta lightning and yeah then i was I, watching I, from that I, I, I about threw the last one because i thought i might have enough deeps and he throws he throws a throws a little r1 at me and doesn't kill yeah. me thankfully. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even know you can die to how let's skip like that, like he did the second time. Like, I, I, I thought you will always slide. Yeah, it like, was super far yeah. left. I know you can get stuck, but I haven't, I haven't, I don't know if I've ever killed myself there. Yeah, that's the first one. There's, you learn something new every day. <sighs> of yes, course, you gotta do. Be, of course, it's gotta be today. <laughs> it happens. But no, that was, that was, I think that was a good race. It was. For, for what it's watching. worth, you both did very well. And we saw a lot of instances where the experience that you both have saved your ass. For Peanut, sure, yeah. you know, I Peanut and his BO4 and Eden did no hit runs. 
before, uh, you know, your experience really showed a lot of times throughout this race, and it was very, uh, very nice to see. <clears throat> it was a good one. Show, yeah, it was a great race, and it just goes to show that if you're starting out, um, like a new speedrunner, Peanut didn't exactly have the cleanest run of his life, but he was able to finish out with a really respectable time. So if you can continue, you should, because Correct. Uh, it's very, very easy to save time when you're just starting out, especially when you, when you have a lot of deaths or whatever, and it's easy to continue until it so, isn't. So. Our next match is going to be peanut versus cookie. Ooh. And it, like cookie keeps talking about some kind of BO4 race. What's that about? Is that what you guys are doing? Uh, I I hinted at it. I don't think uh, we'll we'll see. But it, it, we we've done it in the past where where runners would agree to do stuff like BL four. But I don't know uh, if that'll happen. Well, me and him will discuss that privately, and and you'll see. But nonetheless, I uh, that will be a good match. Uh, Cookie versus. Me and everybody gets us confused. Everybody gets us confused. So, I mean, practically we're the same person anyway. So, yeah, winner, winner. Giant, giant peanut jar. Okay. So, in in conclusion, Eden is going home after today. Thank you for your participation, Eden. You had some really good runs. Really good. I'm proud of you you today too. Um, like we said, Peanut will be moving on to face Cookie. That race should be here pretty quick. We are nearing we're, we're, we're the end of this weekend. We are nearing the end of the Bloodborne tournament. We'll have this match, um, and then possibly up to three more after that. Um, there yeah. are only four entrants left for us to get through. Um, also, if you are interested, uh, we started a Dark Souls Two tournament a few weeks ago. Um, they have a schedule. I think they play on Saturdays and Sundays. There may be some races this Friday. Um, They're doing a makeup this Friday. Yeah, if you're Wolf interested, you can definitely check in the Discord or do the DS2 tourney command. Obviously, there's a BB tourney command as well to keep up with our schedule. Um, unless anybody else has anything to add, I think we are done. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you, uh, BLT and Hattie and Mama and Eden and everybody for participating. Congratulations, Peanut. But yeah. Have a good one, everybody. See ya.